three on your side first reported a couple of weeks ago. There is a little known surcharge on your cell phone bill and your home telephone bill to pay for state of the art enhanced 911 systems. It's for every county in Mississippi. Tonight, we track the money and find out why Hines County is not delivering the goods. 911, where is your emergency? Our E911 investigation reveal millions have been collected for phase 2 E911, but are you getting the service you're paying for? If you live in Jackson or Hines County, the answer is simple. No, you're not. In an emergency, seconds absolutely count. So where will a computer system send first responders when you make that critical call to 911? We tested the system earlier this month using my cell phone. Yes, I'm wondering if you can tell me my location. You're on Pasagula Street next to the Bayamara Hall. Uh, actually, I'm on Capitol Street at Lamar. Operators could not figure out my location. That's because the system here in the capital city and the county has not been upgraded to GPS Phase 2, despite $3 million stashed away. This is probably one of the most important uh, pieces of equipment that any county can have and we should have it in place. Records obtained by Jackson Jambalaya indicate Hines County supervisors shuffle millions of dollars of E911 money around at will, using it to allegedly pay for roads, garbage, payroll, not to upgrade a GPS emergency call system that could provide you with first responders quickly. They are under the impression that emergency services can be dispatched based on the GPS location that they're calling from. That's not true. We found there is a giant loophole in state law. Excess E911 money can be legally diverted by your supervisors thanks to Mississippi lawmakers. In 2009, state auditor Stacy Pickering tried to correct the loophole. So they can continue to shuffle this money around and not upgrade? So far, that seems to be the case. Pickering pushed to require all counties be Phase 2 compliant before they could ever borrow against excess E911 money. And we felt like the legislature should put that into law. So, if and when you need to make an emergency 911 call in the capital city, Hines County, or 38 other Mississippi counties, don't count on a quick response. Supervisor President Robert Graham told me today borrowing from the E911 fund is commonly done by all counties in Mississippi and has been done this way for years. Graham says the money is always paid back with interest.